Dancing cause she love it 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 Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be answering the Q and A's for my BBL. And I know it's been a couple weeks since my last video. I've kind of just been focused on healing and just getting myself together, but um, I feel a lot better now. And I've been getting a lot of inboxes and um, swipe ups and stuff, asking a whole bunch of questions. So I kind of just been writing them down over the last couple weeks so that I would be able to answer them all in one video for you guys. So sorry to keep you guys waiting, but I'm back. So let's get right into it. So, um, one of the most asked questions that I got is why I chose Miami. And um, I chose Miami because I actually had some of my first consultations out here. And um, I was looking through their before and afters and I just wasn't seeing like very dramatic results, like the results that I personally wanted. So, um, yeah, I kind of just realized that each doctor is like specialized in, you know, does better with certain kinds of surgeries. And I didn't really find any doctors out here that specialized in BBLs and like, you know, that was their main surgery that they did or their best surgery that they, um, type of surgery that they did. So I started researching and, um, I seen Miami, you know, of course is really popular for bbls a lot of doctors there specialize in bbls so miami was one of my choices the dominican republic was one of my choices and mexico is one of my choices but i decided to stay in the u.s to get my surgery so i chose miami and um when i decided to do miami and I started researching into miami i realized that miami also has a lot cheaper prices than where i live which is just funny because it's like you get better results and it costs less. So I'm glad I didn't go where I live because I would have paid about double the price and I still would have almost guaranteed been not happy with my results or like I would have had to do another round of surgery. So that's why I chose Miami. Um, Miami's known for BBLs. Their doctors are experts in BBLs. Um, a lot of people go to Miami to get BBLs and the prices are a lot cheaper. So I feel like you get a lot more for what you pay for. Um, the clinic that I went to, if you haven't watched any of my other um, videos, was Mia Aesthetics. And they have two clinics in Miami. They also have one in Texas. And they just opened one in Vegas and they're opening one in Atlanta and I think Chicago. So they're getting really popular and... Um, I know in like surgery groups and stuff, I've seen like some bad reports of like the coordinators and stuff, but never really like the doctors. So yeah, I decided to just trust them and go for it. That's the clinic I went to. Okay, one of the most asked questions was of course, who my doctor was. My doctor was Dr. Mejio at Mia Aesthetics and he's actually been getting really popular lately. So um, when I first started researching him, I think it was at the beginning of this year. That's when I first learned about him or maybe the end of last year. And um, he instantly became one of my top three choices. And um, I kind of just was debating between him and another doctor in Miami back and forth for a couple months. And what really set him over the edge was his lipo. Like his lipo is pretty much unmatched in my opinion at, um, out of like a lot of doctors in Miami. And not just that, but the doctors that are good at lipo kind of aren't as good with them like filling in butts and hips and stuff. So the fact that he was really aggressive with lipo and didn't like leave lipo burns on girls and he still was really good at shaping the body and shaping the butt and filling in the butt. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, that is some of the biggest problems that girls have is either they don't get enough projection, like their butt's not big enough, or they don't get hips, or their lipo is just sucky and they have to go back for more lipo. So I really liked that he was like, he was like, to me, and what I wanted, he was like the overall perfect doctor. Like he gave everything that I needed. He was able to check off every check mark on my list that I needed in a doctor. 
So that's who I went to. And the second most asked question, well, it was pretty much a tie, was how much is my doctor? How much did I pay? And um, my doctor himself, his price right now, um, he's 8,500. And then I also wanted to break down like the overall price that I paid for you guys because that was another question like how much in total should girls save up for if they want their bodies done. Breaking it down, so with my doctor being 8500 my flight was 1100 my hotel was like 1000 my supplies were 500 my first massages where they drain like the fluids out of you and stuff, those were 400 Um My stage one Fajas, so the Fajas that you wear for the first couple weeks, I decided to buy two of them so that um, when one was washing, I could put the other one on. And those were 120 each, so it was 240 for those ones. And then I also bought my stage two Faja, which is like a custom Faja, so it's made specifically for my measurements. And um, that was $200, so I paid like four, almost $500 in Fajas so far. Um, and then the massages that I've had when I came back home have been $400 so far. And then also my rental car in Miami was $500. So in total price, I paid $12,840 so far for my surgery, my supplies, my massages, and like flight and staying in Miami and stuff. So that's, yeah, I wanted to like let you guys know that it's more than just the surgery itself. Of course, you have to save up for other things if you're planning on getting your body done. But um, also... This wasn't one of my most asked questions, but I just wanted to let you guys know and explain this to you in case you're thinking like, whoa, that's way too much. I'm not gonna be able to pay that. Average Miami prices. So honestly, 8,500 is kind of a high price for a BBL in Miami. Um, I've seen BBLs start at 3,000 and um, I feel like the average like price in Miami is probably like 4,000 or 5,000 between there, like 40, 500, 5,000. So don't think just because you're seeing this video and I paid like 12,000 for everything that you can't get your body done. Because like I said, especially like a lot of new doctors at clinics start at lower prices. So you could find a BBL for like $3,000. And um, that's just because like of supply and demand. So there's a lot of BBL doctors clearly in Miami. So of course they're gonna have to compete for better pricing and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, clearly lower doctors are gonna get a lot of clients and stuff like that. Um, my doctor specifically is really popular. So that's a, uh, one of the reasons that he is 8,500. When he first started and I first found out about him, I think he was like 4,500. So, um, yeah, sometimes you can catch really good doctors for really good prices. Like, if I would have just committed to him right off the bat, I probably could have got that price. Um, but like I said, it took me a couple months of going back and forth between doctors to finally make my decision just because I wanted to be, like, very well educated on exactly who my doctor was and the type of results he delivered consistently. So, um, yeah, you could definitely get a BBL in total in Miami for probably, like, if you found a good doctor for like 3000 you could probably get away with spending in total like $6,000. So like I said, don't let that discourage you. But also, you know, if you find a doctor that you want, like specifically my doctor or any of the other doctors in Miami that are higher prices, um, just save up for it because it's worth it. Like if that's who you want, then save up for it and, you know, make it work. Uh, also, a lot of doctors have... Um, perform surgery on like celebrities or like Instagram famous people or like YouTube famous people. So sometimes that's kind of like why they're more expensive. So it really just depends on how popular they are. I've been getting a lot of questions about how far my doctor is booked because um, the few girls that I have gotten the chance to answer about who my doctor is um, before this video, they asked me and you know, then they their second question was like, you know, how far are they booked out? Um, Dr. Mejio, to my knowledge, from the stuff I've seen in my surgery groups, is um, actually booked out until, I want to say, like, September 2021, so already, like, the end of 2021, but for a lot of girls, that's perfect because that gives them, like, you know, a lot of time to save up and stuff, but if you're looking for him right now, I don't think you would be able to get in unless somebody canceled, but just, um, 
DM or email me aesthetics and see what they can do for you. Um, I'm not sure exactly how getting an earlier date works. Like I said, I booked in like what, April or, yeah, I think April or May. And the soonest date they actually had was the date that I got. So I had all my money when I booked in April or May and I still had to wait until the very last day of September to get my surgery because that's how booked he was at the time. And now he's like really, really booked and he's booked out for a whole year. So he's only getting more popular. So get him while you can, definitely. Um, how long I stayed in Miami? Um, I stayed, I think I came on Monday and my surgery was then on Wednesday and my pre-op was on Tuesday, so the day before my surgery. So I then left on Sunday, so I stayed almost exactly a week. Um, the first day, me and my boyfriend kind of just hung out. If you watch my um, surgery blog, vlog, you would see, like we kind of just went out to eat and chilled and stuff. And then the next day was my pre-op, so that's when I like, paid my balance off and um, bought my Fajas and stuff like that from them and signed all my paperwork and then the next day was surgery. So the flight home was also one of the questions I got and um, I used my BBL pillow so it goes underneath her thighs and then I held myself up for most of the flight and then when I was starting to get like in pain because I also did get a fat transfer to the bottom of my, I mean the top of my thighs so kind of like on the sides where the BBL pillow was putting pressure, it was starting to hurt after a while. So I kind of just stood up in the bathroom for a while and my flight was six hours. So it was a really, really long flight. And towards the end of it, I just couldn't wait to get off the plane. Like I was almost in tears. It was horrible, but it was still worth it. Still glad I went. Um, so yeah, that's the answer. So after BBO, you have to sleep on your stomach. And even though I'm allowed to sit now, I've still been sleeping on my stomach. I haven't slept on my butt yet because I just don't want to mess anything up. And, um, I don't want to accidentally like roll onto my hip or anything. So I'm still like hoping my hips fluff out a little bit. I really like the hip looks, so I don't want to mess up anything with that. So yeah, um, I'm going to insert some pictures here of my progress so far. And thank you guys for watching and I really just appreciate you guys and I wanted to say that I'm finally at 2k subscribers so I hit my next milestone and I just really want to thank you guys for liking my videos and subscribing to my channel and everything like that. Um, I really appreciate you guys and thank you guys for supporting me. I know 2k isn't a lot but like it makes me feel good that I'm actually you know helping people and I see all your guys' comments and I try to um respond to them all um sometimes i don't get notified of them until like weeks later it's weird i don't know but um i try to respond to all of them so again thank you guys for supporting me my next goal is 5k so i can't wait until we get there and it's pretty much just up from here so thank you again guys